New Paradigm Humanitarianism. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 152. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 152, February 21st, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the work lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the summer lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the community lesson plan, which you see here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed another round of organizing the streamlined version of our Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page, which includes contributions provided by naturopathic Dr. Matt Martorano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. This week, we worked on the Transition Kitchen page. The Food Hub renovation is now approximately 97% complete. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we were developing. This week's focus was editing and inserting title steps for Section 5, Center Point Reestablishment, reviewing editing and inserting title steps for Section 6, Footer Construction, and reviewing editing and inserting title steps and adding Introduction for Section 7, Polyethylene Installation. Also, the new SketchUp drawing you just saw for the Dome Home Excavation Details. We'd say we're now 69% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 with Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, we also began planning the specifics of which units will be where. Taking the images you see on the left and forming the plan below, and the updated map on the right. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 7.0 of this work that focused on more details for the increased size of the maker spaces in both the north wings, plus designs for recreational shade structures and sitting spaces. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also began involving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. 
What you see here is a test render of the bathroom area in the dining hall. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of learning how to do our own renders for the Duplical City Center. What you see here is the kitchen getting close to complete with fixed window material settings, stainless steel materials, and floor updates. Upesh Sithala, interior designer, also created this analysis of the city center library chairs, designed by Iris Sue, industrial designer, using a larger person than we did to identify possible legroom issues. Then we took this design and proposed these changes to correct this issue. Iris Sue, industrial designer, finalized the pipe couch designs for the Ducal City Center Library and created these renders showing what the final design looks like and the diversity of ways these couches can be arranged. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automated systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued discussion about what the appearance and best functional design should be for the bedside control systems interface. This week's work included creating a criteria chart to compare priorities for the design and researching and discussing more types of knobs and buttons. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued working on a complete update of the One Community Business Plan. What you see here is our third week of reformatting the plan on a Google Doc for easier collaboration and sharing. We'd say we're about 15% done with the complete rewrite and update. Behind the scenes, we also moved our sites again to a new host, this time to give us more space. Jackie Testain, project manager, also continued helping us convert the lead certification research done by Matthias Manfredini, civil engineering student and urban design coordinator, into a web page. Here are the third round of pictures of this lead tutorial page developing on the site, continuing with formatting and content editing. We'd say we're about 40% complete with this tutorial. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. What one community is creating is New Paradigm Humanitarianism. We consider it a new paradigm because it is an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability, the foundations of which are food, energy, and housing, with emotional sustainability. The foundations that we've identified for that are Highest Good Education, Fulfilled Living Practices, True Earth Stewardship, as well as Highest Good Economics. Putting both of these together is an evolution of sustainability that will create a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. What's new paradigm about this model of humanitarianism is the idea that it will create a way of living that most people will find to be superior to the way that they're living right now while simultaneously helping the world. And the more that it helps the world, the more that it helps individuals, the more happy and fulfilled the living experiences of the individuals participating, the more it helps the world. The idea here is to create a self-replicating model. And we believe that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough in the way that I just described, that the idea will spread on its own. And so the new paradigm aspect of it is A, that it's really self-fulfilling self humanitarianism. The idea being that by people getting more of what they want for themselves, they're providing more of what others need as well. The more they share it, the more it helps them. And it's self-replicating. We think this concept has the potential to transform life on this planet for everyone and everything within one generation. The idea being, the idea being that if we create one prototype community, and that one prototype community helps to create two additional prototype communities the next year, which help to create four additional the year after that, and eight after that, and 16, and 32, and 64, and so on and so forth. Within 30 years, we could positively impact and include every single person on this planet in this lifestyle if they wanted to. And the idea being that because it is open source and free share, because everything that we're doing is designed to be replicated and modified and adapted through open source and free sharing, 
The idea is that it will spawn additional iterations, different versions, different ways of doing this that will be duplicable in city environments and, and rural environments and any environment that you think of over time. Our goal is to demonstrate that this new paradigm of humanitarianism is something that people actually want to participate in. The rest will take care of itself. So to accomplish this goal, we're bringing in people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it's possible, that believe that we can positively transform this planet to a sustainable one, that we can heal and regenerate this planet within our lifetime if enough people are interested, enough people are participating. People that believe that a self-replicating model is not only possible, but now is the time and that we are the people to create it. This is what one community is doing. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to participate in, there are lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer members, which will move to the property and build one community, to the volunteers that are helping behind the scenes as collaborative uh, partners and, and consultants to the project, to just sharing our information on social media. We have lots of different ways. We are, we are a member of all the different social media, major social media networks, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Reddit, Sue. All of these to make it as easy as possible for people to get the information that we're producing and for people to share the information that we're producing. So if you want to help, that's one of the easiest ways. Of course, the greatest help that we need right now is assistance in purchasing the property that we've been working with now for five years, working with the county, designing around this property because it is the perfect property to share everything that it is that we're doing in a way that will expose people to it, that will be shareable from day one, of us owning that property and starting to build so that people can come out, see what we're doing, participate in what we're doing, become a part of the open source process, learn the tools, the techniques that we'll be using to build the first village and all the successive villages after that, and take those ideas and replicate them somewhere else. The property we've identified is specific to this purpose, sharing one community and demonstrating that this new paradigm humanitarianism includes sharing what we're doing and because the more we share it, the more we benefit, the more other people benefit, the more the planet benefits. And so the idea is that, once again, it is a self-fulfilling model. It gives people more of what they want and in so doing helps the world more. New paradigm humanitarianism, this is what we're doing. And so the number one thing that people can do right now is help spread the word and help us to find the funding that we need to fund one community either as a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or as an investment in one community, whichever works best. And meanwhile, the small donations also help. Of course, the little donations, the $5, the $10, the $20 donations. Nobody at one community is paid for what it is that we're doing, self-included. We're all volunteering our time and energy to create this because we believe that the world that we know is possible is only to be created if we take action. We're not waiting for somebody else to do this. We've been working on it for years now, and we have a whole team of collaborative partners and members that are helping us. And so the little donations make a big difference because most of us, all of us really, are working additional jobs to pay our wages, to be able to pay for our living expenses, etc. So those little donations help us to pay the cost of our website fees and all the other expenses included or necessary with running a global nonprofit organization like ours. And what isn't covered is paid by us. So thank you. We like to say thank you. The idea of new paradigm humanitarianism the time has come, and this is what one community is doing. We have a clear roadmap. We're building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism with a model that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now, and we are open source and free sharing all those tools, tutorials, resources so that we can build complete, sustainable, self-sufficient, self-replicating villages, communities, and cities, or so that every individual component from the food, the energy, the housing, the economics, the social architecture, the education, each component can be replicated as an individual component as well. It doesn't have to be a part of the complete model. And everything that we're doing is designed, like I said, to be open source and free shared so it can evolve, so it can change, so it can adapt to the specific needs and whims of the individual, and then human creativity will do the rest. This is what one community is up to. So as always, thank you for following our progress. If you'd like to receive an email, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like more specifics, details, links to all the open source content, everything I've been talking about, you can visit our written blog. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.